Go. Okay, we ready? There's no money in it. All right, so really quickly, um, just tell me how long have you been in premiere? Um, this is my second go around, and it'll be two years on Wednesday. Just over a year. I start saying that. That's right. My goodness. I'm in my fourth year. You're a veteran. Yay. Okay, well, I am I am very new too, so we'll take we'll get some account advice also. But I've been in it one year, um, and I kind of advanced quite quickly. I think within six months I became a designer and had a ton of shows. You know, just kind of hit it really hard, and I still am. Okay, because um, I think we all realize that um, we got into it. We all have the why, right? Why we decided to decide to do premiere and. And my story, really quick, is that um, I wanted to get out of coaching gymnastics. I was coaching for 35 years, and I wanted to be home with my kids. I raised three very active children, um, pretty much financially by myself, so I knew, really, getting started, I had to get it hard. Um, I had a big, big why. Um, but my premier mom in Pennsylvania, when she called me and told me about the company, um, it really wasn't the, the, the finance, I, I had a financial need, but the fact that it was a company that's based on biblical scriptures, and I incredibly love God, and I love to serve God, I already, I just knew, I didn't even, I had no idea what, I didn't, know, I didn't wear very much jewelry, I didn't know anything about jewelry, but I knew that this was something he was leading me to do, that my financial needs were going to be met. All right, so that's pretty much why I got into it. Um, but anyways, I'm supposed to talk about retail, okay? And I think, and I got a couple of things that we're going to go over specifically to help with retail. But I think those of us, Karen, I mean, we're all kind of fresh into it, but if you've gone to any of the rallies, this company is so much more about retail. I mean, when we go into a home, it's about relationships. It's about um, bringing joy into people's hearts. It's about looking into people's eyes and someone needing premiere. Um, it's, the retail is not a dollar sign. The retail is, is so much more. You feel so much joy when you walk out of a home after doing a show, and it's a different type of retail. Okay, but we do have to be realistic. Okay, that we have that financial need too. Okay, but if we go into the home. I, I remember this one story that someone told me that she drove up to a home and it was, you know, it was, it was in a pretty beat up neighborhood, you know, and um, she stood in front of the home and she was a little nervous, she was doing this show, but she went in there and she realized that, that, that it wasn't about the jewelry, that the boy had put her there for so much more than walking out with meeting her retail needs, okay, now this, is, this company is the real deal. What I try to tell my viewers, there are two things, two things to help you with your retail. The first is taking care of your hostess. You have got to give her your absolute best customer service you possibly can before you walk in that door. You have got to coach her because you don't know what's going to happen when you walk in that door. Like Tammy said, there could be one person there. The retail that night could be very, very <laughs> small. Okay? Or it may not even exist. But if you coach her before the night of the show, you check with her about outside orders, have her contact people who can't come, see if they want to place an order, have her bring your catalog to work, have her contact her outside, her out-of-town guests. Anything you can do to get the retail up before you walk in the door is going to help. Okay. But that's coach, that's coach, coaching your hostess to have the most successful show of all. You want her to get as much free jewelry as possible. Because when you get her free jewelry, a lot of free jewelry, a lot, your retail is going to be where you want to be. Okay, so that's the first thing, is taking care of your hostess. Bottom line. The second thing I say is those bookings. Okay? Taking care of your hostess is that immediate retail. Getting those bookings is that extended retail that you need for this business to go on and on and on. So when you go into that show, you have taking care of your hostess and convincing everybody else in that room how well your hostess is going to do after tonight is going to help you when you do that booking activity. Now I'm not sure what booking activity, what booking activity do you, your team use? 
I'm most comfortable with the, the box. Okay, the pass or play. Okay, so that, and that's what I use. And I feel like from my upline, it's the most successful um, game to do as far as getting bookings. And you'll learn that shortly. But there's also on the websites, there's a lot of great um, videos to watch of some of the the executive director is doing um, some really fun booking activities. I've watched those, um, but to me, those are the two key things, okay? Immediate when you do your show is taking care of your hostess as much briefly as possible and walking out with some bookings, okay? All right, the second thing we're gonna talk about as far as increasing your retail are the promotions, okay? Premier for their 30 year anniversary has been doing a promotion every month, whether it's a hostess promotion or a customer promotion. Okay, right now we're doing the $500 show, okay, and the hostess gets Girl's Best Friend, which is a very, very big item. She gets that for free, okay, in addition to her 30%, in addition to the other $100 possibility of getting um, the free jewelry. Now, that $500 show, okay, we're talking about hostess coaching again, okay? We want her to get that free item. We want the hostess to get that free item. So once again, we have to coach her before the show. It's all about getting those outside orders. I mean, there are gonna be people that can't come, they want to order, make sure she's touching base with all those um, customers to get those outside orders so that she's as close as possible to that $500 show she can get before we walk in the door, okay? The second promotion they do is the customer promotions, okay? We're gonna run, we're gonna do the, one of the most popular and that's spend $75 and they get any item up to $50 for 10. Okay, so when you're in a show, and you can still, you need to still um, mention, coach your hostess into promoting that promotion on people that can't come, okay? We can't forget that. It's for everybody in that show. But what, what I do with the um, customer promotions is I bring it up in the very beginning of the show and let them know this great idea that's going on right now and that they really want to put things down on their wish list so that they can get this promotion. I'll mention it throughout my show. I may bring up two items and say, check this out, this is this is $75 right here. What do you have to do? This two items right here, you get at $75, you get to pick any item you want up to 50 for 10. I really, I really push it, I make it exciting for them. And then at the end of the jewelry part of the, my show, I mention it again. Okay, and then this is the biggest part. You, you have got to make sure when they're checking out, you don't know how many women have come up to you when they're checking out and they've got a $65 order. There's no doubt I'm going to say that. Oh my gosh, you're $10 away from this $75 promotion. You can get a clip it, get a clip it for 12 Okay, and then you can pick any item you want up to 50 for $10. You got to believe in it. Okay, you gotta believe that in order for it to work. But those those two promotions are big for um, for retail. Now the other thing I really love to um, promote higher retail is why I love the jewelry. I mean I love it because of its versatility. Okay, so I'll share with them. I'll show a piece that you can wear seven different ways, and I'll say. Can you believe that? Seven different ways, and this is the one price for it. I'll show another piece of jewelry. You can wear this six different ways. This is the one price. You're getting a, a piece of jewelry that you can wear six different ways, almost six different pieces of jewelry for one price. Okay, so I love, love, love the versatility of it all. The Golden Guarantee. You can't beat the Golden Guarantee. There is no other company out there that can guarantee jewelry for life. Okay? without a receipt. Granted, they have to pay that shipping, but guess what? You want to absorb that cost. Five dollars, that's another way, great customer service. You want to absorb that cost for your customer. Okay, it's five dollars. And that way they're, they're continually loving that jewelry. But the golden guarantee is huge. You've got to push that too, okay? Because that's just, I mean, when people hear, when people know that in 10 years, if, the piece of jewelry they bought actually broke that they can call you and get a brand the brand new piece after 10 years it's a no-brainer 
the other thing i love to talk about with the jewelry is how we can dress up and dress down the piece that's one piece you can wear it out to kroger and you can take pearls and you can wear them casual in the morning go to kroger right and then at night time you can take those same pair set of pearls twist them up nice black dress pull it around and you're wearing it dressing it up and dressing it down okay you have to believe in the product all right in order for people to want it and then when they want it there goes your retail okay i'm going to share with you something that um my sister had emailed me and I, and I really feel like we can go back to the beginning of, of Premier, the company. Okay, it's a very personal company. You won't ever, I mean, I know a lot of people in big corporations. It, it's just the bottom line. When you have a company based on biblical scriptures and you've got founders like we have, it's the real deal. There's no other company like this. Okay. But my sister is a jeweler in New Jersey under me, and um, I had sent out an email to my team just about, you know, getting bookings for September, you know, because some of them are a little stuck, you know, I just kind of told them, like, and I wasn't going to offer them anything, I just said, look, just get it done, figure out how to get it done, remember your why you got into the business, okay, remember why you needed you know, the financial help, how are you going to get there and get it done? Well, she sent me back, my sister sent me back these quotes from a talk, and it says, um, the goal is not to do business with people who believe what you have. The goal is to do business with people <clears throat> who believe what you believe. Okay? So when you're in there, you want to be authentic. You want to be you. Because if they believe in you, they're going to believe in the product. And they're going to want the product. And your retail is going to be where it wants to be. Okay? The other thing she said um, is people don't buy what you do. They buy why you do it. Okay? Those two quotes right there, they're personal things. Personal. Remember, it's jewelry, okay? The price of life that God gave us is worth a lot more than the jewelry you put on the table. And when you when you go in there and you present that to the people, trust me, everything's going to work in your favor. That retail is going to be where you want to be, okay? Um, I'm going to leave it open now for questions. You're brand new. You're all, we're all, you're in it a couple of years. You're new. Think about it. Think of what, do you have any questions or any, any input? Excuse me? I did it earlier. I forgot. <laughs> or any ideas. Now, we talked, another, um, one jeweler that was here, okay, um, we were talking about promotions, okay? Um, as you move on, you can offer your own promotion, okay? So if Premier is not necessarily having a promotion and you would like to try to figure out how to increase your retail, you can offer your own promotion. Like, um, I'll put down, I'll put some jewelry that I kept, like there's retired jewelry, but I kept it for myself and after a while I decided now I'm going to let it go. Well, you can have, buy any piece for 50%, you know, buy one, you know, or spend $50 and get one of these for $15. Okay, you can come up with your own promotions anytime you want. All right, to increase your retail. I've done that. I have a box because I was in it. Try to little child six, so probably about five and a half years ago. Mm -hmm. And so some of the jewelry that I kept for myself now, I just kind of say, um, yeah. Here's a, here's a $10 box. And, you know, pick what you want for $10. That's right. And I've made yeah, I, I agree too, and I have right now, when I've been doing shows, I just have 50% pieces that, like I said, that were retired, that I decided I'm not going to wear anymore, and and really and truly, that's, that's straight, flat out cash, you know, because a lot of the jewelry I got was free from right. making yeah. you quick start six and things like that. Or what I'll do too is the, the 75, you know how they'll do the 75 to 10 dollar piece, I'll do you spend 75, you get a half price item out of book. Yeah. It doesn't cost you anything and it's making them spend 
so it's increasing your retail and you're giving it to them at cost, so it doesn't cost you anything. And they think, oh my gosh, I get a price, you know, piece of half price, and it doesn't cost you a thing. That was my question. I saw that promotion basket that we have. Well, let me tell you something. That first of all, that's Premier's promotion. But Premier does that quite often. I can guarantee it's going to come up in November again. Oh, like, they do it like, do like, like every, every other month. month. Like three or four months yeah. here. Yeah. It's almost like every, almost every quarter because they do it. Yeah, every quarter they pretty yeah. much do it. Because it's usually a hosted promotion, then a customer, and then a hosted right. customer. Right. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's a great one. I mean, that is that is huge. I, I have a lot of people. Because I've done the same thing you've done. Like, look, you've only spent you've spent sixty five dollars. Mm -hmm. Buy buy a clip it or you know the elephant thing or yeah, it's the ladybug. Like, yeah, the ladybug. Or get a, yeah. a nineteen dollar pair of earrings. You know, and get another item. Now, with, for you, that's just starting. You know, I as a um, as a person that sponsors. You know, I always keep in mind. You know. Um, as far as a lot of promotions right off the bat, you know what I mean? Because I find that a lot of people get into it for that why, that financial need, okay? And I'll never forget, um, and this is just for those of you who sponsor or want to sponsor, but at the um, at the uh, rally or whatever that Bob Olander was there, lots of times when we share this business with people, we say we make 50%. Well, he worded it really great. He said we take. 50%, which means when you have a $500 show, yes, you take 250 Premier takes 250 okay? With that 250 that you take, you're giving the $8 share to Premier. You're giving, you want, you want your hosts to get the two bonuses. You That's want to spend that 20 you, you, want, want to. you want to spend a total of $20. Okay, so when you take your 250, you're giving that $20. You want that now. Anything, any other promotion that you decide to do, okay, you need to understand that it comes from what you what you took of your 250. Okay, so that's what you have to understand. And I have a lot of jewelers who get into this for like really crucial financial, like really like their house is going to go down, or their utility bill, you know. So I have to coach them to where they're giving, that $20 has got to go from their 50 that they take, but how can we continue their business and build their retail without giving so much in, in some of these other promotions or personal promotions? And there are ways, there are definitely ways in that, and, and the biggest way is just promoting the hostess package. I mean, who wouldn't want to, who would not want to invite two or three friends? Because that's all it takes. That's all it takes for you to help meet your why and you to build your retail is having, is, is telling a person to invite two or three people over for your house and allow you to come in and play with jewelry and have a lot of fun and you'll get a lot of free jewelry. Like Tammy said, one person can be there and you coach them correctly in the beginning of their show. You coach them before their show to get some outside orders that show becomes pretty big for the hostess and for you, for the retail. And even if, if I've had where they don't even qualify as a show, mm -hmm. but you still are there and they, like Tammy, they just, the hostess just bought stuff herself. Just like, you know, I had one hostess who, she was shy of something and her husband, and while I was doing, her party text me <laughs> with an order from him for her. Oh, and that's said, sweet. Don't tell her. And I just, I did it. I just added it and I called her and I was like, hey, I did the numbers and you you added up, everything came out. Like, it worked out just fine. She had no clue that her husband <laughs> had bought her extra stuff. So then she came and she's like, I don't think there's jewelry, and I was like, he did, your husband did actually, so. That's awesome. <laughs> Sometimes you just kind That's of, awesome. you know. And husbands are really good, like, you can kind of push them and say, hey, she really wants that. And then you might get a text message or email, you know, it's just kind of added, and, yeah. Um, but don't give up, don't give up. Sometimes <laughs> some give of up. my shows with the smallest, some of my smallest shows, people ones, are better. That's right. Yeah. I've been in a room with 15 people, and you get $200. $200. We're ready. Turn off that video. <laughs> I can't. I can't. <laughs> she can't take it anymore. Uh, I, like the that, I like that blue camera. <laughs>